I don't know what they're barking at. Okay. Just popping on to give you a few quick announcements. Okay, on the website, www.mrsmunson.com. It's pinned at the bottom. I don't think I have not one person on here. There's one. Miss Tina, you're the first person on. Okay, so on the website, mrsmunson.com, um, I added a new page. It's the more page. I didn't know what to call it. So we got home blog. Well, it says recipes, but it's about to say blog. And then more about contact. If you go to the more page, make sure it looks right. It looks a little funny on a, um, what are those called? An iPad? Tablet. A tablet. Looks kind of funny on there. But on your phone and on your um, computer, it looks fine. It tells you about the retreat. So, quick announcement about the retreat. You have until the 31st to sign up and be able to make eight payments. Now, if you sign up after the end of the month, you only have the option for six payments. So, there's that. Um, and then, the second thing is the cookbook. So, after you see the first thing about the retreat, you'll see Mrs. Munson and Friends cookbook. It tells you a little bit about the cookbook and what we're planning. And then, the next thing is friends who have submitted recipes. There's a list. There is 111 of you. Okay? Check that list. Make sure your name is on it. Make sure your name is spelled correctly. And, if you submitted recipes for, like, your mama or your mother-in-law then make sure their name is also on here because that's who it's going to say it's submitted by. If you if you submitted a recipe that was your mother-in-law's and her name is not on here, then it's going to say your name. So if you want it to say her name, you need to make sure that you let me know, hey, I submitted this recipe, but I submitted it in the name of my mother-in-law. This is her name, and her name needs to be on the list. So go to the website. Make sure your name is on there. Um, another announcement is some of you sent in quite a few recipes. Some of you sent like two or three or some of you sent four. Um, we may have to limit it. Some of you sent a lot. So we may have to limit it to a certain number. I'm not sure yet. I know I, I don't want to limit it to two. Um, we may limit it to four. Because some of you sent two or three, but one was like, one lady sent her husband's prize win in chili. I want to put that one in there, but I may put that under his name. I don't know. But his name is not on the list. So if she wants me to put his name on here, make sure you tell me. I think his name is Rob. Make sure you tell me um, to add his name to the list. Um, if you are one of those people who submitted like six of them, but three of them are yours and three of them are your mother-in-law's. Now, I do have one lady like that. She submitted six, three of them are hers, three of them are her mother-in-law's, and um, both their names should be listed. So, if it's not, please let me know. Because we're in the beginning stages of our cookbook, but... This part is really important for organization to make sure I get everybody listed and everybody gets the due credit that they're supposed to. Does that make sense? <laughs> Miss Kathleen already went and checked. Her name is there. <laughs> yes, the cooking. Y'all, I've been so consumed with doing this. And you know, it should be an easy thing to add a page to your website, but for me, it's not. It takes a lot of work because I don't really know what I'm doing. And um, it's very time consuming. It took me all day to figure out the Excel. It took me all day to figure out the Outlook, which is the where, where I'm going to be doing the emails or my, my email from now. And then it took me all day yesterday to do the website. And I made a few other little changes that I've been needing to do. Now, I need to, um, did that, I need to uh, fix something on that website, fix recipes, I need to go back and relabel that, um, blog, 
There's something else I need to do. And then I need to start organizing these recipes. So anyways, last night I was on the computer. I looked up. It was like 1030. And we were going to do a cake last night. But it was just too late. So we'll do that today. The ceiling. Um, I didn't see your question, Miss. <clears throat> was it Lou? Lulu? Is that a house or a mobile home? It's a house. And it came back unable. Miss Ruth, I saw that you said that. Um, and there's another lady, Miss TC. Let me write y'all's names down. For some reason, you both are having trouble emailing cookbook at mrsmunson.com. Make sure you spell in Munson right. It's M-U-N-S-O-N, and it's cookbook at mrsmunson.com. M-R-S, not M-I-S. So make sure you're emailing the right one. Try again. If it doesn't work again, um, let me know, and we'll figure out another way. Um, and I feel sorry, for, especially for Miss TC, because she said she tried and tried and tried, and she just gave up. And I don't, I don't want her to give up. Yes, Krista, good point. Do not use the dot. Sherry, we will add your name. Check Sherry. We'll see. We'll make sure you get on there. Thank you. I need to dust those ceiling fans. So. Like, I can stand, I have those, um, you know, the chair that I sit in the kitchen. They're tall, like, bar chairs. And I have to stand on them to dust it, and I still can't reach. So, I hate doing the ceiling bands because it's dangerous. I'm always scared of them to fall. Um, so, I put that off till I absolutely can't any longer. Miss Sherry, I, do I see, oh, I see some more. Oh, there's another one. I ha there's a few in here that I haven't put on here. Miss Sherry, I just got yours at 1130. Um, Miss Jeanette Duncan, I need to add your name. Connie Crystal. I need to add your name. Okay, so, Connie, I see you set in one, two, three four, five, six. It, I'm not saying I'm not going to use them all. I really would like to, but um, if I have to, like, if I have to cut it and say I can only use so many, I'll ask you which ones you want me to um, use, and if you don't care, then I'll just pick one that we don't have a duplicate for. I don't know. I'll just kind of pick. Um, Miss Ruth, Mrs. Munson.com, M R S M U N S O N. If you look at the bottom of the page, I have a comment pinned. And if you click on it, you can find the recipes to print at. That's the website. But if you click on that comment, there's more to it and it tells you the email. Um, Mrs. M R S M U N S O N. Hi, hi Fabi from Finland. Um, M-R-S-M-U-N-S-O-N dot, I'm sorry, dot com is a website, but the email is cookbook, C-O-O -O book, cookbook, at, the little at symbol, um, or ampersand, that's what it's really called, um, and then Mrs. M-R-S, no dot, Munson, M-U-N-S-O-N dot com. <coughs> Howdy from the Ozarks. That reminds me, I need to finish watching that show. That whole last season we didn't watch. So I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, so I have food in the refrigerator that I have to cook today because it's been sitting in there waiting for me to cook it because I took it out a couple days ago thinking, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, and then I got busy and oh, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Valerie... Hold on. Margot. Yep, I got you. I see it on here. So I need to add, there's a few people on here that I need to add. This one says garden circle. 
and it's from Therese Warnke. So there's a few people I need to add to that list. I'm gonna do that as soon as I get off with you guys. But I've got to go start cooking that stuff. One thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do something with ribs tonight with Big Daddy. Well, not with him, but he asked for a dinner he asked for. And then we got another chicken recipe that's kind of cool um, that we're gonna do too. I may do that one as a pre-record. I know y'all don't care for the pre-records very much, but let me tell you, during that, um, the fried chicken one, okay, that one kind of went a little viral, and most of the comments were like, this takes too long, you know, you should have your stuff all together, and, you know, you shouldn't be running around your kitchen grabbing things, and, but that's because those people were new, and they didn't realize that those videos were live, so they weren't edited. So, I may, because this one is going to be kind of a long one, I may do it pre-recorded and post it and see how it does. But it's a really cool recipe, and I can't wait to try it um, and see how it turns out. It's something I've never done before. So, that will be a pre-record. We're going to do some ribs tonight with Big for Big Daddy. That will not be a pre-record. Um, and then we have a dessert that at Ethan's request we are going to do it is something that we've done on the page before but we need to redo it now i need to go back the website i've been kind of neglecting because i've been working on the cookbook but we need to go back and add um a few posts for the lasagna soup dolly's brownies and paula's goulash we need to add some posts for that and then i have two or three recipes i need to add today so we need to do ribs the chicken one. That's six posts and the cake that we're going to do tonight. All right. I did request to change the name of the Sugar Shack yesterday. Apparently, it takes a minute. Like, they have to approve it. I didn't really change the name, per se. It's the Sugar Shack with Mrs. Munson. So, if you notice that change... Don't be alarmed. I did do that on purpose. Um, one reason I did it is because um, the Sugar Shack, the name of Sugar Shack, is already trademarked by a wine company. Um, no, it's not going to be on the grill. It's already trademarked by a wine company in California. So for the things that I want to eventually progress our business into doing, I cannot use the name of Sugar Shack. So we're using Mrs. Munson.com or Mrs. Munson. That is the name. And so, everything else that is a part of our business will be whatever with Mrs. Munson. So, the cookbook will be um, something with Mrs. Munson and friends. The website is www.mrsmunson. Um, the sugar shack will be the sugar shack with Mrs. Munson. So, it'll all be something with Mrs. Mrs., Mrs., blah, 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 with Mrs. Munson. Just so you know... It's authentically ours. The second reason is because somebody tried to duplicate our, our page and make a group out of it. Um, I reported it to Facebook. Unfortunately, there's nothing they can do. It does not go against the community standards to skim off of other people's hard work and use our pictures. And Apparently, that page was made by Cooking with Brenda Gant. She did not make that page. I'm telling you, somebody else... That is a that is a page that was copied, who copied Brenda and then turned around and copied me. My friend Debbie with Driftwood and John has the same issues. Oh, what was that? I don't know. So the website is looking pretty good, I think. When I was telling you, you might have a a little something weird on the tablet if you're looking at it on a tablet. Um. It's because the, the way y'all's names are listed, you'll see number one and then number 61. It's just, I don't know why it did that. It's only on the tablet. It's not worth going back and redoing all of that to fix. It's just a numbered wrong. But you can still see all the names, I think. Um, right now we have 111 and I have several more to add. 
one, two, three, four, at least four more people, maybe more. So I guess that's it for announcements. Now, tomorrow is Friday. I do have some appointments. I had to get a book to keep track. Um, I do have an appointment at two and we have to go get sand for the chicken coop. I'm write that on the to-do list. Okay. And I need to add the dates to the website. Add to. For the retreat. The dates and the place. Okay. Anything else? If there's anything else I forgot that I need to do, y'all just tell me. Hopefully, I, TC, I was just talking about you. Um, I was just saying that you were having trouble sending me the your recipes. I told you to um, email me or message me your email, and I would send you an email. I don't know if you did that. I have to go look. But I'm trying to figure out a way for you to be able to get your recipes to me because I want you to be a part of this. Um... Hey, Terry Jean, my friend Terry, Terry's Crafty Creations. If you're not following her, go follow her. She makes some really cool stuff. And really and truly, she's so much fun to hang out with. She doesn't have to do anything but sit there and talk to you. She's so much fun. But she already has best friends, so don't be trying nothing crazy. I guess that's it for announcements. Retreat the, um, is from sep is September 27th through the 30th, and cookbook. That's most of our announcements. I know, I'm pretty excited about this cookbook, too. We've got some really great recipes. Oh, Krista, that's so sweet. Where do you look to check? You go to... Um, www.mrsmunson.com and in the menu you click on the more and it's at the bottom it's linked right there at the bottom or pinned right there at the bottom www.mrsmunson.com and make sure your name is on there now as time goes on and as the progress on the cookbook continues to go um, or we get for more progress along with it um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to figure out a way. I guess I'm going to have to email each one of you. I don't know. But to tell you which recipes are going to be included and how many. They're not for sale yet, Miss Linda. We're still in the process of making the cookbook. Miss Rhonda, I do plan on cooking tonight. What recipes do I need more of? I'm not real sure. I'm not real, real sure. But it's not, it's not, listen, send in the recipes that you love the most. That's your favorite recipes. Um, or the ones that you're most proud of. Because if I only have two appetizers, I'm not saying I do, but let's say I do. Then I, I have to add some recipes in there too. So I will add recipes. Plus, I'm also getting recipes from other creators. And, um... I'm going to get some recipes from Michael's grandmother who is, who wrote her own cookbook. It's a heart healthy cookbook after her, his grandfather's heart attack. So we're going to pull some recipes from there. And then I have his other grandmother's recipes. I'm, I want to get my grandfather's recipes for Greek meatballs, which is really grape leaves. Um, so I'm not real sure what I need more of yet. Because, look, right now, this is our, this is our cookbook. 
like this is the recipes you guys have sent me okay and this isn't even all of them i still have a few more to add but this is the recipes you sent me i'm going to organize it first by name and that way i can make a list of the your name and the recipes you sent in and then from there um i will organize it into sections like appetizers meals cast whatever however we organize it um chrissy wants a cookbook i didn't see your other comment boo boo but as soon as they go on sale believe me we're gonna let y'all know now the reason why i'm cutting i might cut back on the number of recipes is because i think they charge by two things how many recipes you have or how many pages you have so you guys alone not counting the ones i haven't even added in yet have sent in let's see 263 so we might have to weed that down a little bit um but we've got some really cool stuff we got some from i'll show you we've got some norwegian recipes we've got some um i want to say portuguese maybe i think uh i've never seen that page who sent that miss martha but i will check her out i will check her out because i like other creators too And some of you have made cookbooks before, so you are well aware of how much work it is. Y'all have given me great tips and who like different publishers to look at. So it's really kind of cool. I appreciate all y'all's help because this is not work for the weary, I will tell you. Um... No, the contributors will not get a free cookbook. They probably, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet or how I'm gonna organize that. I My goal is to give them a discount, but I don't know if I can. It just depends. Because I cannot afford to pay for this out of pocket. Like I have to cover the expense. And I have to make some money to cover the time that I put into it. I don't think that's fair. And if you don't, then that's okay. Just don't submit a recipe if you don't want us to use it. Did you get it, Miss Ruth? Did it go through that time? I'm saying, um, copyright laws are kind of tricky. I mean, look, don't go to, don't pull a recipe out of, um, Pioneer Woman's Cookbook and send it. But if you have a recipe that you got the idea from Pioneer Woman and you changed it and made it yours, um, then that's different than that's yours. Miss Debbie, I'm already working on the next steps. The next steps is collecting my own recipes and collecting from creators. So I've already kind of started doing that. Um, I'm already working on the next steps as I'm as we're focused on one step. Does that make sense? So Oh, thank you, Miss Regina. Where's my um Make sure your name's on here. Yep, there you are, Regina Smith. 
Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Um, we're, I, I still want to do a discount. I just don't know how or if I can. Because some of the publishing sites that you look at, they make you promise not to sell the book for less than their recommended sales price. No, I don't know how much they would cost. The cost is going to depend on how many recipes we got. Um, it'll depend on like like wh what we pick for covers. So some of the sites that I looked at, you, they give you like a sec, like covers and, and dividers that you can kind of pick from. Personally, I wanted to personalize it a little bit better. Um, but, but I may not be able to do that. And, and that's okay. That's just something that's going to aggravate me. Still going to be the same cookbook. You can pass on an old family recipe. Yep. And keep them for the next generation. So, I'm excited about this because, you know, my kids, um, who was I talking? Oh, I was talking about this with my father-in-law yesterday. His mama bakes a whole, whole lot. And he has a few of her recipes, but she didn't really make a cookbook and she didn't really... She might have wrote them down. I don't know. But the point is, is that he has a couple of them, but he didn't really have them all. My grandmother was the best cook in the whole world. And I have nothing of hers. Like, but I don't know that she really followed recipes. I think she just cooked it. I don't know. Am I making my own cookbook? Uh, yes, but I'm having our followers. It's a, it's a collaboration cookbook. Now, after that, after this one, I may do, um, I may do my own cookbook, like just my stuff in it, but that, it just depends. If this is a success and y'all have a lot of fun doing this, we could maybe do one of these every year. It's just kind of up, whatever, really, I just, whatever y'all want, I, I'm going to make what you want because... I mean, that's what you do, right? Anywho, back to, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this because even if my girls don't think ahead and say, hey, mom, um, I want all your recipes or I want this or I want this recipe and they, they don't think to ask for it and then God forbid something happens to me, at least they have something, something with it. She goes out to her chickens. Well, a lot of cooking pages have their own chickens, huh? I love my chickens. That's why I got to go buy sand today because they need sand for their coop. Yeah, I think I will do my own eventually. Yes, Mountain Cooking with Missy did her own. Yep. So, I don't know. Brenda, of course, did her own. Anywho, I'm not trying to be like them. I'm just going to do... This was an idea that I had. So that everybody could be a part of it and be part of the fun. And uh, I don't know. I like this idea. It's just, I do. All right. Well, I'm going to get off of here. I've got more people to add to the list. Got a couple things to go fix on the website. I'm about to die of thirst. I need something to drink. Yeah. Can anybody buy a cookbook? Yes, ma'am. The deadline for the recipes is going to be the 31st, which is Tuesday, I think. Yep. Tuesday. So today is the 27th. You have one, two, three, four more days to get your recipe in. Now, Miss Ruth, Miss TC, I know you guys have been trying and trying and trying. So if I get yours after that, of course, I'm going to include them. But you have until the 31st. Right, you would want your mom's now, but when you were 17, did you really think about that? So, I'm glad I'm doing this. At least one day they'll have that. And they'll be able to hand it down to their kids. And not only will I have my great recipes, they'll have yours. Some of y'all's recipes, man, they came with some great stories. And it does cost extra to add those little stories in there. But after... Um, going through these recipes, I think it's important to add those. So, we're going to try to do that too. 
Yes, you email them and you just email cookbook at mrsmunson.com. Yes, those are my favorite too, Pam. She said some of the best cookbooks you find at garage sales. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well, I'm going to get off of here. Go see what Big Daddy's doing. And then back to work I go. And I got to get ready for some lives this afternoon. Um, I, mean, I got some prep work to do, so I need to go do that now before it's too late. All right, so I'll see you guys this evening. We're going to be cooking. I'm not going to be looking pretty, but I'll be cooking. So I'll see you guys tonight. Y'all have a great, great day. And email me if you have any questions.